What's up, LA Live Gang? This is your boy AC, and welcome to another edition of LA Sports Live. Now, as you guys are coming to a video, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. We hit another subscriber milestone over the weekend. It's all due to you guys and your support, and I greatly appreciate it. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every day when we drop new videos here on YouTube. Now, uh, you guys see the thumbnail, you see the title, uh, NBA trade, trade deadline is upon us this week. We have, what, let's see, till Thursday, uh, I believe 3 p.m. Thursday Eastern Standard Time is the deadline. And expect some heavy willing and dealing um, this week. Um, as far as the Golden State Warriors are, are concerned, um, the powers that be in Golden State, you know, they're they're they are listening currently listening to offers for uh, for D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell, but the consensus is that they would like to more than likely keep him the remainder of season. I mean, Steph is coming back next month, and they really want to see how these guys play together. Uh, we won't see Clayton next season, but they would like to see uh, D'Lo and Steph together to see, you know, how they play together, how they play off each other, if if they can actually do it, and just to see what that actually looks like before they go ahead and pull the trigger on the deal concerning him. Now, if somebody, now if Minnesota was just were to just officer straight up big cat for D'Lo, they they probably would just go ahead and take that in order to get the big man. But other than that, uh, they seem content to just. Um, wait to the off season you know so maybe you know after Steph comes back they'll get maybe a good 20 games and seeing them play together to see you know see if that works or not if not you know this has proven to be a value the the Warriors are extremely lucky because basically they they were able to pull off a trade basically for KD for D'Lo and um to me they got the better part of the deal because you know everybody knows KD is a much better player but we don't know how he's going to recover from that injury you know there's only been a select few who've come back from Achilles and came back and been, been dominant players but anyhow we'll see what happens with that um, the Warriors are definitely um, taking offers and um, looking to deal either uh, Alex Burks who's you know have a pretty good pretty good season with them with extended minutes he's averaging 16-5-3 and uh, they're they more than likely may move um, Glenn Robinson the third. He's having a pretty decent season uh, himself, averaging 13 and five, and he's shooting 40% from, from three. So that might be valuable, you know, you know, for a playoff team or somebody looking for a, a role player. Um, let me guys, let me tell you guys something. The Warriors, if if Clay comes back from and Steph come back. Let's say 100% from these from these injuries next season, and they keep D low or they're able to move him for a major piece. Look out for these Warriors next year. Look out. I'm out of here. Later.